Hi, I'm Steph and I am going kayak camping. <laughs> so this is something that me and my friend Stephanie have been talking about for a while now. So I got my kayak, my Oryu kayak, back in October of 2021. And it's almost been six months since I've owned it. And I've been wanting to go camping probably for a really long, for a really long time actually. Um, I was a Girl Scout so we used to go camping all the time and when I turned 18 I um, was no longer a Girl Scout and I haven't gone since then. So um, I'm excited to go camping. It's been a long time and um, I just feel like kayak camping just seems like it'd be so much fun. So I've actually been researching for a while now and I'm currently sitting in my new tent that hangs. Um, I would call it a hammock but it's called the Haven tent and I did a bunch of research about different tents and this one just really had kind of checked all the boxes for me. So um, it lays flat so you can lay nice and flat when you're sleeping. Um, it comes with all the hangers and everything you need because what I was reading was not a, a lot of the hammocks that you could get didn't come with all the tools you needed so this comes with um, everything you need to get get sleeping actually. This is my third time putting it together and I'm really happy with it actually. It's um, it's really nice. It does sit a little bit lower um, than I would like so I'm trying to like figure out the configuration there but that's the big thing is you just kind of have to do it and then you figure out what works best. But I wanted to kind of just share with you that uh, I'm going to be kayak camping and I wanted to share some gear that I'm going to be taking with me because like I said I've been researching and I got a lot of stuff from REI. Um, I love REI. We're actually getting one in Tallahassee sometime soon and I can't wait because it's a really fun store and, uh, and I am a member. If you're not a member of REI, it's like 20 bucks and it's a lifetime membership. I thought it was like a yearly thing. Highly recommend it. REI is awesome. So I got a lot of stuff from REI. The tent's actually not from REI. It's from Haven Tents, but I'll put a link to that. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so I'm really excited to get all my gear together and I'm going to, so I'll show you all the gear that I got. And again, once I go camping, I'll figure out what I need, what I don't need and uh, kind of go from there. Cause I think I'm gonna like it. I think we're gonna go more than once. So I'll show you the gear I'm getting and then I'm gonna try to get it all into my Oryu Inlet Kayak, which it's not really made for kayak camping, but I'm gonna try because I'm determined um, and I may be getting a new kayak in the future that will be able to hold more gear for kayak camping but uh, I wanted to kind of show you the journey and I will take you along obviously on the journey that Stephanie and I take when we kayak camp so let's let me show you some gear. First let me show you how I lay in the Haven tent so here you can see my pillow is there at the top and this is actually a sleeping bag liner from the company Sea to Summit. And it also has some kind of like bug shield in it. And it's like cooling because here in Florida, it's just hot. And so I thought this would be a good way of um, like helping me not sweat at night, but also kind of being covered. And then I have a rumple blanket on top. I don't really love sleeping bags, so I decided to go with this configuration. So we'll see how it works out. So here's a couple extra things that came with the tent. It came with guy lines right here, and these are used to prop up the rain fly. And it also came with some stakes to stake that down. So I haven't tried that yet, but I'll try that all on the first camp out. And then I bought this extra, this is a pump for pumping up the mattress pad. And this I got from Haven Tents as well. And it also can charge a phone on the bottom. So that's kind of cool. You have that option. And then these are called whoopee strings. And these are if you have two trees that are too far away that you can't fit the tree straps, this will give you some extra length. So I haven't tried these yet, but these are just in case I need them. It also came with two lightweight carabiners. Headed on a road trip. Let's go, let's go. Washing every town we dip on the path. In charge of the tunes, just skip the ones that make the time just fly on by, 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 by. Now I'm putting it back in the bag the way that the founder said to do it. He has a bunch of videos on their YouTube Haven Haven Tent YouTube channel, and he suggested putting it back like this. And I would definitely recommend checking out their videos because their instructions are not, there's not really instructions actually on how to do this, uh, but their videos are really helpful. Bags, cause we're headed on vacation. Throw them in the back to our 
our destination. Don't forget your toothbrush and you don't need no makeup unless you want it. So I got everything in my yak. And I'm going to start to unload it now. So this is my tent in here. My tent and pillow. And this is my tech stuff. And all of these are dry bags. So if they get wet, everything will be fine inside. So this is the pump for my my mattress pad. And this is all my tech stuff. GoPro mount, tripod. This is a solar power battery that charges the phone and all the devices a bunch of times. This is my Apple Watch cable to charge. These are some extra chargers. This is great because it has a ton of cables. I'm bringing three GoPro batteries so I don't have to charge them and then my um, AirPods. And this is my camp chair and uh, it's also a seat right there. This is uh, cooking cooking gear. These are actually the um, whoopee strings that go with my tent. This is a, a camp line and basically it hangs from two trees and you can hang stuff from it. So that will be useful hopefully. This is checkers. My mom made a checkers board and then I made little wood discs. This is oatmeal for breakfast. This is a breakfast skillet. This is my bowl. I feel like you can also use this as a plate. Uh, these are expandable towels. This is a cool light up neon light. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really cool. Spoon, fork, knife, and this is a cup. So I drink tea every morning, so this is good for hot things as well as cold things, so I'm excited about that. And then I have tea in here because I drink tea. So up here, we have, this is um, extra carabiners. Oh, and there's a um, bungee and just um, paracord. This is some gloves and some wet wipes. This is a tiny first aid kit that has some gloves, wet wipes, and has a tick tool in it because there's a lot of ticks around. This is some extra paracord. These are some little clips to clip stuff to the camp line that I showed earlier. This is a knife and it's pretty, it's a pretty knife. And I sharpened it recently. And then this is a multi-tool I can do things with. This is extra duct tape if we need it for anything. This is a light that actually hangs. Tissues, and then I have a headlamp. Um, and then this is, this is a bunch of stuff. Another first aid kit. And it has um, an emergency blanket and some emergency matches. This is actually a trash, like a portable trash thing for diapers, but I thought this would work well for our trash that we have to carry out. This is a plastic bag for dirty clothes. This is for s'mores. Bathroom supplies. So all the things you need for the bathroom when you're camping, when you have an outhouse. These are my shoes for at the camp. Bug spray in towelette form. This is my mask if we interact with anybody. Hand sanitizing wipes. These are called wilderness wipes. So these are for like showering when you can't shower. Ziplocs, cause you know, always need that. And then in the back here, here is all the clothing and bedding supplies. And this is a compression bag. So everything is tightly in here. So I'm gonna open it just a little bit here. So there's towels, bedding, all of that in this bag. So that is all the gear that I'm bringing kayaking. And I'll obviously have my paddle and my life jacket and water. Um, I left room in the back for water, so there will also be water that I'll put back here. So Stephanie is going to go get the car, we're going to unload, and then we'll be done. Oh, I am wet. Okay.